hope you I hope you can hear me, man. I don't have my earbuds, so it's like I can hear you. Left, left them at home. Devo. I just want everybody who tunes in right now to know this is Kevin's live stream, and I'm just a guest. You're not allowed to do live streams anymore. No. Is there like a comment section? I'm learning here, guys. If yeah, anybody down at the bottom. Look. I don't think anybody's here, so not yet. Not yet. Down at the bottom left, there's a thing that looks uh, like a talk it. bubble. Huh? Yeah. And you click on that and click the one that says live rather than uh, it says I think, live chat on it. Yeah, live chat. And then when when people come in, which nobody's here yet. So what I've been doing as I've started doing these is scheduling them like 15 minutes out. And then there's usually five or 10 people waiting by the time I, oh, good Lord. I'm no. about to try to turn into my road, but there's a huge accident blocking it. So I guess I don't think I am. We can just bullshit and see if people show up. Yeah, but, uh, I've, never used, now. I've never used the YouTube uh, live feature. I've always used uh, StreamYard. Yeah, so they started doing that live together thing a while back, but I haven't tried it yet. I've only yeah, done the one for myself. Nerdy for Knives is here. Oh, now we got 11 people. So there's some. There we go. I wanted to. Uh, Show off the uh, American Blade Works Model One button lock. So he's dropping some Wednesday. Should I get one on the twenty seventh, dude? Uh, yeah. But there's lock stick on that one, isn't there? Don't I hear so, blade stick? My theory on it is that it's intentional. Like, can I? So here's the thing with button locks, right? Everybody bitches about lock stick. And then companies try to get rid of lockstick. Guess what happens? The smoother they make it, it fails. Right. So you have to have a little bit of lockstick to have the knife lock up. And it's just like common sense with it for me. So in this case, like if you listen to it open up, it has a solid click. Oh, yeah. That's Can you nice. hear it? Yep. So... I'm 90%. I'm not, I haven't talked to Michael about it, but there's no up and down on this, no side to side. And it has a little bit of a stick when you disengage it, but I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. So like if I flick it left-handed, every other button lock I flick left-handed, it ends wow. up, it ends up like having rattle because my fingers on the button, it depresses it a little bit. Or I can't flick it because the button's depressed and then the detent disappears. But with this, I don't have any of those issues because it locks up so well. And if you look at the button, like it barely comes out of the handle when closed. And then when it's open, it's uh -oh. just a little bit. And so like left-handed, I can use it a lot better. But uh, in terms of the stick, it doesn't bug me at all. Um, nerdy for nice says, how does it compare to the Anso one? Um, the Anso one's really good. I forgot about that one. Um, sorry about that. My internet totally left me there for oh, a minute. I'm back. You're good. Um, so in terms of the mechanism and everything, I think this is a little bit better. Um, this thing is just super solid. Like I'm pretty confident that people are going to be able to use these a, a bit tougher than any other button lock. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I really don't want to sit here and whack shit, but I've, I've tested it a little bit. And it's just, even after doing that, usually you'll end up with a bunch of rock. It ha it's just solid. It's a tank. Um, Very good. Exercising his energy ball there. There we go. I don't know if this live chat thing's working. There's only two comments, but there's 95 people. Seems weird. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Usually uh, I end up with a ton of comments, so I don't know. I don't know. Got Somebody to leave something comment. in the comment. Somebody leave a comment. Everybody's just sitting on their couch. <laughs> Hanging out on a Sunday. But yeah, I this thing is solid as shit. I, I don't know how else to put it. The stick is a so, thing, but it's not a problem, in my opinion. I can sit here and fidget with it. It never bothers me at all. 
So, yeah, gotcha. you hear it. But, okay. I mean, well, I may try one on. I, I just I just sold my Hogue Misto. You can't. So I may, I may try to get one on Wednesday, but they'll probably. You can't drive and talk. No, not staring everybody's at been screen. bashing me on that one, too. I'm not looking at the phone. I'm looking at the road. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of flack on that one, too, Kevin. Well, but I'm, I'm, Kevin's Kevin's running the live stream. I'm just literally driving and talking. Craig says hi. What's up, Craig? I want to do uh, I figured I'd give away some stuff, too, because I got so much shit here right now. Uh, Dude. Craig's been badgering me for this for this Griffin, so I think I'm gonna give it to him. Is this the one? Yeah, here it is. You still want this, Craig? I really. Oh like wow, it. it's crazy. I don't like the yellow. I don't really. I don't know. It's so thin on the handle. That's my only complaint. But it's really good though. Like the action's really good. This is a hawk. Bill. Yeah. That's a hawk bill. So <laughs> you're right. We are. Uh, That's funny. We we're trying. We tried to do a hawk bill blade on the uh, nip. This is a budget version of the nip, and the way they did it, I, I think maybe the blade is just too small to pull off a good hawk bill. Like we'd have to recurve it a lot more, but then it's going to get super thick. Like maybe if we had studs instead. But if we go in more for a recurve, it's just going to get too thick, I think. It's already, I think, uh, too thick the way they did it. Or they didn't sharpen it well. So I think we're going to scrap it as much as I love how it looks. The standard blade cuts better. And you still get a good tip. So to me, it kind of makes sense to stick with the... Uh, yeah, I mean, you still get a really angled tip, an aggressive tip. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know that it's necessary, but here's another look I'll, at it. You want to see it, guys? Uh, trying to reach in my mailbox from up in a truck is not a good look. Yeah. Hey, look, a knife. All, always a knife. ABW Model 1 or Model 2? What did I say? This is a Model 1. Yeah, this that's a Model, a model one. 1 button lock. They're calling it. And this drop point blade is my favorite blade shape they've done, even though I'm a warning guy. Sheep's yeah, that's, guy. that's interesting. It's I, just uh, I gorgeous. Was, I was it's just, thinking it'd be cool in the uh, warning, but I like the look of that for sure. I mean, it'll be good in a warning too, but I just really like how they did it. This is what I wanted the James Brand Barnes to look like. Now, my only other comment on that knife is I wish that was contoured slightly. On the model one, yeah, it's well, flat scale. You, you right? want everything contour. He chamfered the edges in hand. It's, okay, well, it's I haven't fabulous. seen one yet, so maybe I'd love it just yeah. like it is. I haven't. It's seen chamfered it. and rounded. That's one of the things about his knives that are great, and it's a good size. You know, I mean, I'm gonna send it in the pass around. Uh, I'm probably gonna set that up after this live. So, if you want me, I can put you first on it if you want. Instead of you buying one, but that's your call. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll save my money for something else. Which one should yeah, but, I get? But then one I'll two? Up... I would get the Model One. As much as I like the Model Two, um, it was a little hefty for me because he went with like full liners and it. I forget why, but you can watch my video on it. And the detent ramp just isn't my favorite. It's a good knife, but the Model One Warney or this. Uh, definitely takes cake. And right now, uh, this is the one I'd recommend. I, I, I freaking love this thing. So that's the answer to that one. Uh, no problem, Craig. Just shoot me, shoot me a DM or an email and I'll, uh, I'll send it out to you. you you've been asking for it for like months. Normally I don't give into that stuff, but I like you. So there you go. Hey, everybody, saying hi to me. I stopped driving now so I can look at the chat. How do you know what color the knife is if you are looking forward? Because he actually reviewed it, and he can look at the screen when he's not driving. I didn't like even... When he's at a stop sign, you can look at the. Yeah, anyway. 
You don't want I to don't know understand. what I do while I drive, man. <laughs> so, I'm a multitasker. Uh, which one should I get? Okay, so it's the same question. Um, what else do I have? I got so this much guy shit here. In the pocket today, the Quiet Carry 9. Oh, these two, these are great. These, uh, I got a bunch <laughs> of Kaisers back that are like really good. Craig, you're funny, dude, man. I'll do this one. All right. Well, you know, the only <laughs> thing is, you got to figure out how you're going to do giveaway because you don't have the StreamYard tool on here. Uh, uh oh, he's got to do numbers. <laughs> uh, fuck, I hate numbers. This is the uh, <laughs> Kaiser Dogfish. <laughs> Oh god. Maybe I just have somebody say they want it. That'll that won't turn into a, a, a whole mess. This thing's cool. Yeah, that one's cool. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I kind of wish was it was saying, a liner lock or something, but somebody was saying on my video the other day that the uh they didn't put a filler tab. I can't remember, and it was sharp down there. Is it sharp down there? Yeah, so there, there is. is a filler. Yeah, so he was saying the filler tab, that's what he was saying. It stuck out too far and it was sharp. Yeah, somebody told me it didn't work either. Like, you can't reverse the clip. Which is silly if it's true. Yeah, Fuchs, since I've become the king of vertical live streams, Lefty asked me how to do it, and I'm like, I'll jump on with you. <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're testing it out. Yep. Or I guess um, we, I'm testing it. But yeah, yeah when well, I was I've never creating been... the when I was creating the live, there was just a little uh like options button and then you could select uh live together and you just check it off and then you create a link. Cool. Uh awesome. surprise, yep, yep. I like you too, not in a gay way. <laughs> That's funny. So this is I prefer uh, flippers, um... but can handle button locks if I had one button lock. Protect Malibu, yeah. Have you tried the CGRB Prado yet, Kev? Prado? Whatever. I call it the Prado because we had a – the Phillies had a baseball a player called Martin Prado. Or no, the Braves ah. did. Have so you had that Prado. one? Uh, it, you'll like it. Yeah, that's what this is. Yeah, you'll like it a lot. Uh, it's It was a little big, and you're not going to like the flat scales. Why don't you just open Probably. it? Or are you trying to save it for an unboxing? Or well, something? I was going to do an unboxing, but I can always just do a look what just came in. It doesn't have to be an unboxing. So we can open it. Share the wisdom. Look at this. I'm keeping up with a chat. Nice. This is not as much chat. It's easier to keep up with that way. Yeah, What's we, up, had Marco? A bunch of people, we had a bunch of people come in. They saw you and they left. No, that's what you'll learn with these. I did one last night on the way to my friend's house with my wife driving and I'm riding. Okay. And um, we did it and it spiked at like 180 and then went back down to 40 and then spiked to 120 and then went back down to 30. It was crazy. And every time it spikes like that, you end up with crazies. Um, is this, that you have to, is nice. this Zach stuff approved? What does that mean? Uh, Zach is on right now. I didn't even think about that. Oh. I totally forgot. You guys, if you want to watch, go, go watch Zach. I didn't, I didn't even think of that. I was just nope. hanging out. We were just, no, Decided we were just talking and we were just talking and hanging out and did this. So, okay. Yeah. Again, not enough access to the, to the hole. That one's what is not too that? bad. The, uh, CJRB one. The Hector, right? CJRB one. Oh yeah, sorry. The Hector was horrible. Boy, this is really stiff. The spring. Golly. Yeah, they made them stiff, but they're that's a good thing. You can flick it better. I can't flick it. Well, clearly, you look like a noob over there, dude. I've been flicking knives. For a while now, but I can't even begin to flick this one. This is great. You can't even no. open it. 
Look at the color. That, Dude, I don't like you it. Can't, if you can't flick that, the hectare would be absolutely brutal. I couldn't. I, yeah, I, I could only thumb flick the hectare. What's up, with can, World Tree? Oh, you had the hectare in. Okay. Yeah, I did. Oh, gosh, Kev. What? Tons of stick. Not uh, just a little. Tons. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you shouldn't have stick like that on a axis lock, though. Um, let me grab it. I was showing it already. Fook Doozle right here. This is the Model 1 button lock from American Blade Works. And they killed this. Golly. I had an I'm unboxing go up today if you want to check it out, uh, Fook Doozle. But this thing's sick. This is pretty bad. Um, you got to try to clean the clean the lock fit where it interacts on both sides. Try to clean it with like a Q-tip and alcohol. Yeah. Usually, yeah, it's because it, there's a lot of oil there. That might help it, you. It's definitely got some oil there. Please show some affordable fidgets under ten dollars. Ten dollars. Where's your uh fidget? Dude, I can't what even get like where's the plastic ones that we used to do? I don't even think you can get that for ten dollars. I don't remember how much they were. So if you check out 3DC printings, yeah, on, that's it on Etsy, I think there's uh not in this video, but if you go to one of my videos, there's always a link and I have a code. I think it's lefty edc20. You can get 20% off it. Uh, 3DC printings and there's a I think they start at 10 bucks and they have yeah. sliders and stuff um, but 10 bucks man that, that's a tough price point for anything right now I mean that's three gallons of gas yeah. not even well we'll try alcohol but just a cloth didn't help uh, that looks way better than the original model one yeah I think the inlays the blade shape the and what I like about it is it weighs nothing. Like it is milled out to the gills on both sides. Here, I'll try to flashlight it for you. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it is totally milled out on both sides because you don't have to worry about a liner for a liner lock. You don't have to worry about a frame lock. You don't have to worry about mounting anything. You know, you just have that plunge. That's one of the benefits uh, to a, a button lock, I guess, you know. Um, I have 3C printings with sliders. Okay. He says I'm poor. I get it, man. Uh, what I would recommend is you make your own fidgets. If you're, you know, for 10 bucks, man, you could, you know, you could use something around the house, click a fucking pen. Uh, like there's a lot of stuff you could use instead of buying fidgets. Cause honestly, maybe you should put that three gallons of gas in your car. You know what I mean? If you can get three gallons for 10 bucks, good on you. I mean, I think I pay, I get 93 and I pay last time. I think it was three ninety. Yeah. So not even three, but yeah. Are you familiar so with if, the ding? If I roll wet? it, Kev, if I roll it, it's a little bit. If I roll it, it's a little bit of stick. Hey, you tried to get me to say dick in my ass. That's great. Uh, um, uh, so if you roll it, it's a little bit of stick and it's manageable. If you flick it like that. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, gosh. Right, I can face, barely. That face was a little over the top. <laughs> no, sir. I can. I. I'm telling you, I can barely disengage it. Uh, I'm, I'm not able to move it. I know. There we go. I love that face, dude. It's like you're taking oh, a dump. <laughs> I was. I was taking a dump in my truck. Gosh. Why did I? Why did I come on live with Kev? I don't know. We're at five ninety nine a gallon for premium in North California. Damn, dude, that's tough. Yeah, I don't put premium in mine. Uh, I put eighty seven, and I'm running like three. What I pay last night, like three thirty five or something. The only fidget I got recently is this one. It's a little mechanical milk coin. You can 
rotate around. It's pretty cool, but I think it's like 80 bucks. I don't know how much it is. It's in pay. You know, that's tough. 80 bucks. Oh, I also got this in if anybody's curious. I got one of those downstairs. It's I, I I don't like this thing at all. Interesting. You like it, right? Yeah. Have you taken I it absolutely... apart? No, I'm not going to. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, voting has its consequences. Um, it has 5,000 parts in it. It was. An, it's going to be an hour plus video of me. I mean, I unbox oh it and then I disassemble it. So it's probably like forty minutes of disassembly. I had to I, take it apart and put it back together like five times because it's so delicate how you line things up. Um, also, this pivot is held in. The, the whole mechanism is held in by the pivot, which has a threaded like. It's like this thin, and there's just like four threads, and that's holding, and it has a fucking spring on it. Oh my god! And that's holding everything together. I'll show you because it literally makes me go. I feel like people are gonna have um, these are just gonna start popping out. Probably, if that's the case. I'll show. I mean, I'm serious. It's literally the strangest thing. So the only thing holding this like mechanism like look at the blade right is this and there's if i take the spring off there's like four threads right there you probably can't even make them out because i'm hitting the thing but it's like right here there's yeah, that's no, it. yeah and there's a there's a spring on top of that so if those threads loosen at all, it's going to start getting pressure from the spring. Right. And, and then, shoot out. And it's just going to fly out. I'm telling you, that's going to happen. But I could be wrong. Well, I got one in from Justin. So thankfully, I get to send it back when I'm done with it. So, But I like it all right. You said you didn't like it being chunky. I actually like the way it feels uh, in the it's hand. but thick. And it's it is heavy. thick, but it feels good. For the size, I mean, sure, but like that's not. I don't know. How's the detent? So they put the studs close enough to the frame that it's acceptable, but it's not like it has a good detent. It's just because the studs are where they are, you can fire it. So it works for a good thumb flick, but like reverse flicking, you have to give it some gas. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not satisfying for me maybe the thumb flick you know but it's a hundred and twelve dollars so i'm like okay yep. you know fine 112 bucks it's all right but all right, um, if we start talking about bougie flashlights i'm leaving oh you want to see what i had on me no i got a hanko on me you know you want to see what i got I got a Olight, I threw, I mean, uh, uh, whatever this thing is, but, uh, but Tom four. I went, mine also, <laughs> mine also has light that comes out of it. So, uh, yeah, if you want, um, if you want performance and that's all you care about with a flashlight, there's no reason to spend more than 20 bucks. Honestly, you can get a through night, all those through nights they send us, dude, they're all good. Yep. Yeah. And I got, work. I opened. I opened one today, the the little one that you put a double A in with the clicky on the back. I'm like, are you kidding me? Twenty bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I had that one a, recently too. This is a headband or whatever. How does it work? Yep. I gave that one away already. Uh oh, there it goes. Yeah. They gave me they always send me two. Oh, cool. They don't ever send me two. Do they always send two? I guess because at one time I had one that didn't work. Yeah, I reviewed that one already on my channel. I'll do the stream like this. There you go. Uh, that hurts my I'm head. Blind. It's like crushing I'm my head. That knife won't be no good when the sea man comes. Uh, 
He's what just in the chat here? trying to get us to say shit. Yes. Yes, I live in my car. That's exactly right. My wife told me, go return that toilet and that Home Depot and never come back. Must be uh, a little bit of a delay because he said, put that on. I already had that on my head for like three minutes. The new affordable Riot. Not great, Kev. You know, if you want to spend 112 bucks on it, I, I really can't fault anybody. And I'm not going to say it's not worth 112 bucks. I'm surprised. That they're selling it for 112 bucks. I doubt it's gonna uh, and, be around long. Cause and yet this, I've yet I've been having people tell me they're overpriced. I don't well, think so. Nitro V and G10 and uh, new mechanism. They had to literally they had to literally make their own bearings for this thing because they're like this big yep. and they go around the pivot. But I would much rather. Uh, I want to try one of those new Vostis, the Ankiel or whatever, because that's actually like a detent. They have like a compression lock almost inside of there versus this bullshit. Yeah. Um, also, while Marceau's here, I got some new uh, O-lights. They asked me if I had ever tried the O-clip. I said no, so apparently they thought I needed three of them. These are pretty cool, though. So this one's like copper, antique copper or something. But um, it has a clip on the back, which also has a magnet on it. And it's like tiny. I mean, like here's a nip. That is tiny. Like for clipping on your backpack or whatever. That's cool. Yeah, but it actually has some decent, I mean. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then it has a red light and a beacon. <laughs> and a strobe. Uh, yeah. World World Tree, uh, this is Kevin's stream, but yes, I have I have new things on the horizon from Tempest. For sure. Uh, well, you, Kevin you, you can talk about going. Tempest. Oh. Well, uh, well, so I don't have a I don't have any updates on the practice other than it's in production. I'm waiting for them to tell me, you know, how it's going. But I told them to not rush. And uh, but it's supposed to be May or early June on the practice. But they are all sold except a few that I will be taking to Blade Show, like five of each variant, so fifteen total. Awesome. And then um, the I'm waiting on two sets of prototypes from Kubi. Um, one is a knife called the Downdraft. You can see that on my Tempest Instagram. It's um, it's a worn. It's basically a thinner, a thinner, a less tall, um, longer, you know, worn cliffy kind of knife. Hey, it Paul. looks, it looks sort of like a worn cliff, uh, hollow ground pinion, kind of, but a little Warncliffe bit different. And then hollow ground pinion. I'm just gonna yeah. look it up and show. Them. It's uh, it's down a little ways on the Tempest Instagram. Sorry. Um, I'm I think on my I remember phone. that one. It's like really aggressive, right? Yep, very aggressive, hollow ground. Uh, and Jesus. I've got three you versions post every day. This thing? No, I haven't posted it. Yeah, that's it. Yep, those uh, are. I love this one. Anybody should have that. that? Yeah, swipe to the next one. I think the next one might be easier to see. Maybe not. Or is that the closed? Yeah, the closed. Oh, yeah, that's not helpful. Um, yeah, dude, but, that's um, that's sick. And then it has like a, a Jetstream Vero style flipper tab. Yep, it does. It does. And nope. then there and the hole. Th those are those are coming. What? And the hole. That dude. That looks fucking awesome. Thank Did you. Did you make the pivot I, bigger? Yeah, the pivot's huge. I tried something new just to see what I thought and how it looked. We'll see how it looks on the prototypes. What do you think? I know you don't like big pivots. Would you go with weave? Yeah, weave, and then um, I think the black and blue G Carta or G Mascus. I mean G Mascus. Oh, okay. the, the like the yeah like the yep. And then there's a third, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, aluminum. 
I think I did uh, what you told me I couldn't do. Uh, yeah. You said there's no such thing as bead blasted aluminum, but they're they're doing it. Okay. So we'll see what Hopefully we'll see it holds up. <laughs> I think that's why I said nobody does it. We'll see. If yeah. I don't have to order it, it's just a prototype. We'll see how yeah. it works. And no, that's I mean, we're testing their aluminum now with the new budget nips, and so far right. so good. Seems a lot better than the the growler. If you remember, was real easy to scratch. Yep. This yep. seems they like more like me. a like a coating. You can see it where it it chipped the for the clip. Right. And you can see where it kind of looks more like a coating than I feel like the the growler was like a almost like an anodizing, not a right, not hard, a hard anodizing. I don't know. Oh, you okay? Gotcha. Yeah, we'll see. And I already talked to Kubi about putting little plastic things under the clips because obviously that's not acceptable for somebody flipping their clip over. Nope. So, so those are supposed to be here early April. Those prototypes. And then I've got a second. I haven't really talked a lot about it, but what the heck? It's the, uh, it's it's a what? What are you laughing about? Referencing a Cotton Eye Joe song. <laughs> oh gosh! So um, it's a mini uh, jet stream. Basically, it's called the micro jet. Um, so that's on the way. Oh, well. I see. So when you do these vertical lives. It shows up in people's like short speed. speed. It shows up in the short speed. So that's why you get the jump because there's just randos that catch it in their stream Correct. going up. That's why when I'm on YouTube and all of a sudden I see some Spanish lady in her kitchen fucking dancing and like cooking. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, I'm not subscribed to this bullshit. Or yep. you get the girl. It's always that, you know, everything's fucking OnlyFans now. You get the girl who starts lifting her leg. Because she's doing her yoga pose that's actually like her showing you her hoo-hoo with fucking stretchy pants on. Because that's what her channel is all about for some reason. Hoo-hoo. And I'm like, why is this, seen, why is this on my feet? Channel. I don't know. You know? And then your wife walks by right when that happens. I have not gotten to see the silver carbon fiber from Asher, but I bet Kevin has. I... I don't know if I have. He he hasn't really sent me stuff lately. Um, he doesn't need to. As soon as he drops something, it's gone. Yep. Um, the Warncliffe looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he's he's supposed to be sending me some stuff. We'll see. But I do want to try that. I'm not a big fan of that silver twill though. It doesn't to me. I like the black weave because it has black and then it kind of pops a little bit of sort right. of silvery gray but like silver is just all silver with a little white i don't know that's not really for me but i get why people like it yep. um your feet is trying to fuck with your back <laughs> no i just yeah. go hey look at this <laughs> all right kev i'm gonna need to go but it like was fun jumping vertical. Yeah, I don't know. It's my first time. Doing it. Yeah, if you got to run, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got to run. But right. um, thanks for having me on and, and enjoy yourself and all that good stuff. Yep. Cool. And uh, uh, yeah, look at, by the way, looking forward, if you guys haven't seen him yet, Tall Boy, he made that for me. That is my knife. I've been telling Kevin I need a bigger Devo and he made it. Uh, I do think the cutout needs to be smaller, but it will um, be. It'll be smaller. Yeah. So, but that knife, I am so freaking excited. That and the fireball, very excited. But that one especially, so fireball. super excited. And Thanks, and the sir. the budget budget nip looks cool too. But those two excite me much more. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, good stuff, man. You're killing it as okay. usual. All right, I'm gonna go take All take right. it easy. See All right, good. bye. So, is it just gonna okay? Just lets me take over. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you guys let me know if you like these. I just thought I'd test it out. I was talking to Casey about it because he does them like all the time now. I just thought he was doing, uh, 
I just thought he was doing lives. I didn't know there was a difference between a vertical and a horizontal <laughs> live. It's so weird. Uh, I prefer the other style because I get to use my laptop and not staring at my phone. But um, we can still hang out a little bit. I have a... Uh, I do have some stuff to give away. I just got to figure out how to do it. So somebody help me. Is there like a giveaway button in here? What up? Ronald Dobbs in the house. I think I saw Brandon Thrasher showed up. What up, dude? What up? The budget nip in aluminum is a great option. It looks sick. Yeah, dude, I think they look great. I sent the other two to uh, Colin already, but we have a gray aluminum with purple collars and a black wash blade. And then we had a green G10 with black uh, accent, satin screws, and a belt satin. I think we might scrap that one for maybe like a purple aluminum. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, lefty looks slimmer. Yeah, man. I'm trying to. Trying to drink less, drink, trying to eat less sugar, moderate a little bit. Uh, let me see. My birthday's next week. Easy giveaway mode. Just pretend I won. Yeah. I wonder if there's an option. It says share, add guest, add guest. How does that work? Uh, the G10 is green. Let me see if I can show you. They forgot to put the milling on it, which was stupid. I have pictures because I, I think, yeah. You can definitely see the green there. I'll show you all of them. I should have kept them a little longer, but I don't like, I get the prototypes and then call it, you know, I want him to be able to check them out. So this is the red and the gray aluminum with purple. And then the blue one I have here and the green G10. So we'll probably change at least one of those. And then the goal with those is to sell them for like a hundred bucks. I'm still waiting on the final quote, but we wanted to make a more affordable one, even though the nip was pretty affordable. I mean, it was 175. Um, but some people don't like to spend more than a hundred bucks. So we're going to try. We going to try. There's got to be a, how do they not have an option for uh, giveaways? What is this button? I don't, I don't know what it's going to do. Highlight, save to your channel. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't care about this shit. <laughs> so dumb. Left-handed or left learning? <laughs> uh, oh, left leaning. Yeah, dude. No. Uh, it's not a political channel. Blue G10 and gray aluminum keepers for sure. There is no blue G10. There's no blue G10. There's green G10. No, I like uh, I like this blue aluminum. And I like the red. I like the red a lot, actually. Just... It'll have a normal blade on it, I think. So I think those two are keepers. And I like the uh, gray with purple. So I don't know. Maybe a purple purple uh, aluminum. And maybe we'll just do one black wash. Maybe just do the red. And then do all the other ones satin, maybe. I don't know. We will figure that out. I got the pony knife, Kev. Oh, sick. I'm glad you got one. I think they're still available. I think White Mountain still has uh, like 20 of each version. I was kind of surprised. Um, 
But I had people hitting me up saying they were sold out. So I think maybe their website was being all weird again. Uh, can you sell me any slider for $10? Nope. Sorry, man. I don't have any $10 sliders. I really don't have any sliders. I have like two. Uh, but they're not like the ones that are two pieces. They're like one track slider, I think you call it. Uh, da, 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 da. Just a few days apart. Oh, you're talking about your birthdays? Um, shit. I'm trying to think about how I can give this away. So I have this Kaiser dogfish. And uh, I can't use my normal giveaway tool. And I hate, I absolutely hate that numbers game. Hate that numbers game. If anybody has an idea, let me know. Flashlight quiz? <laughs> That'd be great. That would be hilarious. Except you would win. <clears throat> Leave a comment in a video of your yeah, but then I gotta go to like comment picker or something. Uh raid on your own videos and use comment picker. Nah. No, I'm not doing a flashlight giveaway. I have a Kaiser dogfish here, I'll show it to you. World Tree with the super chat. Uh, you're on point with the nip colors. Picked up a premium pony on my birthday. Hell yeah, dude. Happy birthday, too. So, your birthday, oh no, today's Sunday. I thought it was Saturday. Uh, your birthday was Friday. Hell yeah, dude. Congrats, bro. So, here's the knife. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, I used to do the uh, middle name game. I might have to I might have to start the middle name game up. My Stout V2 arrived yesterday from Blade Binge. Couldn't be happier. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. Glad you like it, Eric. Glad you like it, dude. All right. Use my middle name one. All right. I'm going to do the middle name game. First person to guess my middle name wins. I've probably used my middle name before, but that would have been a long ass time ago. So good luck. Uh, what's the steal on the budget nips? Uh, we were shooting for 154 CM on these. 154 CM. No, it's not Jurgen. <laughs> Jurgen, James, Michael, Matthew. Nope. Dean. Kevin is actually your real name. Nope. Uh, I love my Kaiser dogfish. Hell yeah, dude. James, Jason, David, Nutsack. No, it's close, though. Dean. Sean, James, Evan, the man. Yeah, that's close. That's close. Craig, you can't win, though. You already got something. Not letting you win twice. Technically, I chose you, but it's fine. Michael, Denver, William, Chris, Thomas, Keith, Samuel, Jamie. Nope. Flashlight live and I don't get notifications. It's not a flashlight live. Robert, Anthony, Nathan. Is it lefty? No, that's close though. Uh, Neil, Aaron, Frederick. What if my middle name was lefty? <laughs> That'd be great. Frederick, Richard, Adam, Michael, Richard, Steve. Nope. I'll tell you, it's a pretty basic name, pretty obvious name, you know, run of the mill. Larry Leonard Lawrence George. I'm playing for Fook. Okay, fine. The Lightbringer, Kevin the, the Lightbringer. Uh, Leroy, what is the best, Ultim or Zerk? Dude, if you're trying to spend 10 bucks, neither. <laughs> but uh, both, 
it depends on the the fidget. So it really depends. But I like both. Zerk is definitely my favorite. Adolf bastard. Adolf, Paul, Lemar, David, John Smith, James, Stanley, Robert. Man, you guys suck. Nick, Warren, Lindsay. <laughs> Uh, Brian, nope. Anthony. Closing in on it there, Fook Doozle. Todd. What if my middle name was Chad? <laughs> Sarah, Allen, Winston, Leslie, Billy, Tony. Nope, nope, nope. Andrew, getting closer. Michelle, Antoine. <laughs> Uh, Scott, Tony, Andrew, Adam, Pony, Andrew, Mortimer, Tony, Drew, Andre, Tony, Antoine. What's up, Michael Upchurch? How you doing, man? Avril, Andrew, Arthur, Chad, Andy, Ad Adam, George, Andy, Thomas, Drew. Man, you guys are brutal. Alan, Adam, you guys are getting closer now. Anthony, oh boy, Austin, John, man, we're going to be here all day, I got to show you more knives, here's one I love, the X-Mid, look at that thing, oh, Steven Johnson, really close, buddy. You guys are real close. Sean Betts. Bats. Close. There you go. Foop Doozle. Got it. It's Alexander. Alexander. Foop Doozle. Somebody confirm that. I got Foop Doozle first, though. I'm not counting Alex because it my full name is Alexander, so. I think I'm going to go with Fook Doozle because I'm guessing you guys probably have a delay and I don't know. I don't want to deal with that. He's the first one I see on my screen. So, just in case some mofos complain, I took a screenshot. <laughs> Bunch of you guys got it after, though. Jason, Paul, Steven. Love that Richard Rodgers. Yeah, do you have one? Do you have one, Thrasher? I should get Thrasher on here. Can I invite you, dude? I didn't know you were live. Yeah, it was a random thing. I was just talking to Casey. I asked him how he does those lives, and then he just, he's like, why don't you try it? And I was like, all right, I'll invite you. Um, talk about Trivial Pursuit. He said, no, I wish. Oh, that you had one. Says I can add a guest. Can I just pick somebody or do I have to? Oh, I gotta send a thing. I gotta send a thing. Add a guest. Copy link. Is that copy on this phone too? That'd be cool. Oh, I think it did. Oh, he's out. Okay. All right. Never mind. Fair is fair. Well played, doozy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, let me mark this one down. I don't think you've won one before, dude. Yeah, you email me. LeftyEDC88 at gmail.com. Craig, you got to do the same thing. Otherwise, I won't have your info. I won't be able to send it. Because I will forget unless you email me. <clears throat> what are you guys doing today? Sunday at 3.30. My wife went to her mom's with my daughter. So I had a little time. Recorded the uh, disassembly of this guy. And then that inspired me to make a video um about my favorite knives this year which this one's like at the top of the list right now new knives this year this thing's fire um already did all right cool 
Where can we get the new Model 1? So he's dropping some on the 27th. Ron Dobbins is watching golf. Yeah, I guess my dad is too. He fucking loves golf. Always on the TV. It's like, dude, whenever I'm there, I'm like, please, no more golf. <laughs> it's the one thing I don't want to watch. I'll watch baseball until the cows come home, but freaking golf, man. Uh, 327, is that Wednesday? So these are dropping Wednesday. And, uh, dude, they're like $329. All USA made, 329. Try to get another knife for that price, USA made. The only place you're going to do that is probably tactile. And that's going to be hit or miss. These are fantastic. Probably the best looking ABW I've seen. Yeah. Dude, John, it legitimately feels like a detent. It's so good. Even left handed, I can never flick button locks left handed. This thing fires. I love this thing, man. And I hate button. You guys know I hate button locks. But it's just really good. Golf is great to fall asleep to. Yeah, that's true. Smoking ribs. God, that sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good. Listen to it. Lock up. I mean, that's some lock up right there. Has a little stick when it closes, but I'm telling you, it's not like a bothersome. It just sounds, you just hear it. Doesn't like take a lot of effort. And to me, it's just signifying how locked up it is. If you watch this back later, I spine whacked it on a strop like five times, no problem. And it's like a freaking tank. Uh, other than those dead reckon ones, which are different, um, I don't think I've ever felt a button lock this locked up. Like it just, it's so nice. Hey, Lefty, I'm a huge fan of, what are you a huge fan of? But what's up, Joe Shorts? How's the Cortex XL treating you? Uh, I had to send it back because one of my, uh, one of the pins in there, he has these two pins that you can adjust detent and, and uh, lock up with or whatever. And uh, one of them was like shifting in the slot for it. And um, it would, like, mess the action up. The closing action would get all tight. And he's like, can you, like, test it and try to push that pin down? And I was like, sure. I had no idea what I was doing. And I just, like, pushed with a screwdriver, and it just popped, like, an absolute, like, millimeter. And then it was fine. And then, like, 20 minutes later, it was back off. So it was shifting. So he's like, just send it back. I'll swap the pin out or whatever. Um so I had to send it back, but uh, it seemed like a freak thing. If you if you guys don't know, I get all the lemons. That's like my thing. I get lemons. Um, over here, filling my new Cavill case with the Devo collection. Hell yeah, dude. That's sick. Wondering when the power is going to come back on. Damn, Kelly Weaver, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. I wish it was a sheep's foot. Yeah, dude, I'm normally a, a sheep's foot guy, too. There's something about this blade shape. It's just sexy. I was saying earlier, it's basically what I wanted the James Brand Barnes to look like. That blade was so close to looking like this, but they went a little too much on the hump, I think. It turned into like a lizard head. This is beautiful. It's like a, it looks like a caiman, like a crocodile head or something. Um, do you have an EMP nimble? No, but I've had a bunch. I kind of went through that phase. I had all the EMPs and nimbles and I had like every version and I just kind of grew out of it or, you know, I, I just go through so many knives. They're good. They're good. His stuff's good. Uh... 
All right, cool, Fook Doozle. I can check real quick. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I got both of them. Hopefully your address is in there. Yep. Yeah. You guys are good. Uh, martini time. Hell yeah, Sean. At least it's being fixed. I'm sure it will be awesome. Yeah, dude, I'm not worried about it. He was like, you know, I'll send it back. Uh, in a couple of days, and I was like, dude, just take your time. And then he, like, he was going to send it, but it, he crossed the border, and he, like, I don't know, something happened. He had it. He forgot to drop it off, and he's like, so sorry. I'll give you, like, a discount on the next one. I'm like, dude, I don't care at all. Like, take your time, man. I appreciate you fixing it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I just appreciate good customer service. You know what I mean? That's why, that's why I try to provide good customer service with Devo stuff, because that's what I want. You know what I mean? Empathy, baby. Thought about making a Devo case or knife roll for us collectors. Oh, have we? Damn, that's interesting. I never thought somebody would ask me that. <laughs> I haven't thought about that, man. It would be kind of cool to get one of those Cavill cases with Devo on it. Maybe I'll talk to them about it. Because those are really affordable. Even if we had to, like, you know, slap 10 bucks on it. Uh, I'm me. Were you close? Oh, sorry. Guys talking to each other. If you ever want to sell your Sweeney mini knife, let me know. Are they out of stock already? I love this thing, man. I'm not a big knife roll guy, though. You know? And I... Like, I really struggle to want to make or have made and sell things that I don't personally use or like. You know what I mean? It's way harder for me. So like a knife roll, I just don't use them. So I, it would be a case. You know what I mean? When is Devo going to do a bar fly? I don't know. Yeah, knife, knife case would be a sick. Let me check bird blades, Ronald. You should have those still. Are there any Sweeney's left? So, Ron, go over to birdblades.com. He's got the Black Mars Valley one still. Sick. Uh, I think that's it. Damn. Those sold really well. But, yeah, he's got one left over there. Go pick it up. What about an EDC pouch? See, that's another thing, man. I just don't... Uh, like, I got these in from Cabell Knives. I love them. Like, it's really, really well made. Got this really nice strap you can put on there with a titanium ring. Um, what's up, Roger? What's up, Dr. Breezy? How you doing? You know, it's really nice. It's got uh, plenty of space in there for little stuff. I like it. But I just, I don't use pouches really. Like when I go on trips, like blade shows, then I bring a pouch. Because it has like my bit driver and shit in there. But other than that, I don't use them. So I don't really want to make one. We did actually have Kaiser prototype. Uh, you guys remember when they did their, um, what was that series of knives Kaiser did? Serape. The Serape series, like the rainbow kind of Mexican blanket looking series they did. Um, they had a, uh, like a zip pouch that the knives came in. So when we were prototyping the uh, mash button lock, I asked them if they could put patch material on the front of it and change it to a Devo pouch. And they did, but they left it fucking Serape. <laughs> so it was like a Serape pouch color with Devo on it and then a, a patch thing on the front. We were going to do that for the mashes, but then we ended up uh, licensing them the design. So I don't know if they would actually ship them in that. 
If they do, I hope they change it to blue and not just Serape. It would be hilarious, though. These skiffs are breaking in real nice. Look at that. This thing fucking amazing. I never got into the Serape theme. Yeah, me neither. They sent them to me to check out. Serape on my 64 Impala back seat, homie. Uh, let's see. A bit bummed about my feel good still, but doing okay. Oh, dude. Sorry, I didn't put two and two together. So, um... Breezy bought a feel good. Let me grab it. He bought a feel good. And it has no half stop or uh, walk and talk. It's just like a double detent. Do you still? I never drove a Chevy. I have a F-150. Like his doesn't do this. It just goes like. Why not? <laughs> so I think his spring is cracked or something. Uh, and I think it was the last. Man, this knife is so good. This was my knife of the year last year. Oh, and I remember why. Holy shit, it's good. Dude. Jack Wolves are sick. I really wish. I love what they're doing. I just want more slip joints. Like, I want more. I just want more of this. Like, I want more slip joints. New designs. I know that's hard. But that's what I want. That's what I want. I get excited when they come out with a new slip joint pattern. You know? There definitely was a crack in the spring. Okay. So are they taking it back? Um, do they have another one? Or are you getting the midnight? Or what's going on, dude? Because you really need to get one of these that's proper. You know? And that must have cracked, like, in transit or something. Because I know Jack Wolf hand inspects every single knife. And that would have been an obvious thing. You know what I mean? These springs are strong. So I could see, you know, something cracking if... Uh, depends on where those screws are down here. If they didn't leave enough space, you know, maybe they could have had one or two crack. Sent the video to the dealer. Hopefully, I will hear from them tomorrow. They're out of stock on the feel good. Gotcha. Yeah. Did you let Jack Wolf know? I think they would like to know that. <sighs> so good. Do you guys have a favorite slip joint or Jack Wolf? This is mine. I mean, it's my favorite. It's obviously it's my knife. <laughs> yeah, that would suck, dude. So good. Little bro for me. Oh, dude, little bro. Listen to that one, dude. That's crazy. So good. The other option is the Midnight and Jig Titanium Reverse Tux. This is a great one, dude. I love how this looks. The jig tie with the reverse, the black spring. So good. Um, no, I don't have any ZT. Is that what you asked? ZT or... Do you have a ZT Strider? Did they make a ZT Strider? The only Kershaw ZT I have right now is this. They sent me this. It's called the layup. 
It's their new, uh, it's a Duralock model, and it's assisted. And I don't like assisted knives. Like, I don't buy them, obviously. But this is actually good. Uh, as much as I, you know, just, I'm not an assisted guy. I get it for people with, like, arthritis and shit. But this thing fires out. And then the thing I like about it is you disengage it. It falls down a little bit. And then you just pull it down. So you can one hand this all day. Where I feel like a lot of assisted knives, you have to kind of like push the lock bar. And then you're like two handing it, right? <clears throat> you're kind of like going like this. But this just kind of swings down and then you close it. So for what it is, I think it's really good. It's D2. I'm hoping it's like 50 bucks or less, you know. I don't know the price yet. I love the coffin barlet. Yeah. <clears throat> it's great, dude. Just get one. You know, I know you don't have a lot of options, but it is good. It's not quite as poppy as the satins because it has the coatings, but it wears in. Takes a little longer to break in, but once it does, phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, I love the flow party. Don't have any slips, but I'm looking at TPK's Lake Champlain. Okay. Shoshin. Uh, another one that's good from them is the uh, Hedgehog. This one in camo carbon. If you use, uh, I have a code, Lefty TPK. This will be 140 bucks. This is the best $140 slip joint there is. I, I mean, gotta be hard to beat this. M390, hollow ground, full height, hollow ground. It just needs a belt satin. Titanium bolsters, camo carbon. Nice, stiff walk and talk. 140 bucks. I mean, it's literally a no-brainer. The Lake Champlain is also very good if you like larger knives. Um, they should do a polished DLC. Dude, everybody is asking about polished DLC now, ever since that Militaw came out. So, it's funny how that got in everybody's head. <clears throat> uh 2024 year of Kathleen's little bro. Hell yeah, that'd be sick. I'll chip in for that. I wish I I wish I had an extra one. I don't. I have two, but one of them's like the first run and it was gifted to me by Ben, so it's kind of special. And then the other one I have is, you know, that's collection. I gotta have one of every drop. But I'll pitch in for that. Uh Sasha's so says knife shop. Jim's Firearms in Baton Rouge, they carry Berg Sweeney's. I picked up a full size from them. Yeah, they carry Berg. We were talking about it when he was on the live stream the other night. Is the Midnight muted? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's not muted. Like, it's you can hear it. I'll grab the other one. So here's my purple one, Purple Haze. Just a little bit, but it breaks in. So this sounds way better than when I got it. So uh, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this one. This is the Trevor Berger EXK 30-year anniversary custom slip joint I got. And this thing is amazing. Hand satin, LMAX, full height hollow. It's one thing I love about slip joints, full height hollow. Great ergos. Wonderful walk and talk. I love that thing. Thought 
thought it was a friction lock. Friction lock. Um, the whole community is full of great DSKFS. Yes, they, yes it is. Yes, it is. Uh, I got to get on my laptop to become a channel member so I can get in the running. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a giveaway sort of going for this night. So if anybody joins uh, memberships, I'm giving this away on the next live stream. So if you're a channel member, you can win this Jack Wolf Midnight. This is a Midnight. I have three. That's why I'm giving this one away with this beautiful slip from Troy. This is the Chaotic Resin. With Belt Satin. Beautiful knife. So I'm going to start trying to do that like once a month. Members giveaway for something special. Thanks for the reminder. I forgot about that. Not much difference in sounds. If you're in person, you can hear a difference. Like, this one clacks a little bit more, but they're both good. We're going to do it, Kev. I'll be in touch. Okay, for sure, dude. Just cream my pants. Burger for the win. Yeah, that thing's sick. If you had to carry one knife for the rest of your life, what would it be? God damn, that's tough. That's a crazy question, dude. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like I would just go with a nip. <laughs> I'd probably go with a, a, a Jack Sparrow dip with the Black Pearl Cam... I have one over there, but I don't want to get up again. Black Pearl Camo Carbon and the Belt Satin. Because if you think about it, if you got to carry it for the rest of your life, well, then maybe it needs to be bigger, right? But this will go in any pocket. You know what I mean? And for the most part, I'm just cutting bags and shit. But if I had something tough to do, I don't know. Maybe this wouldn't work. The other option would be the... Uh, my custom Strix. It's my most expensive knife. Hand made. Magna Cut. Hollow Ground. Zerkutai Accents. Black Dunes. Camo Carbon. Bark Pattern. Rock Pattern. I love this thing. I just don't know if I'd want to put a handmade knife through the abuse of the rest of my life. <laughs> you know? You have a family guy on DVD? No. What? Uh, Kev, Burger dropped a couple Urban XLs with black Damascus inlays. On Knife Center or Blade HQ, I can't remember. Seventeen fifty? Uh yeah, I had a custom XL. I think it was a lefty too, was it? No, I don't remember. But uh just a little too big for my taste. And it mine wasn't it just didn't feel like my smaller one. Oh. I've gotten a few knives from Burger since I got this urban, and it just none of them ever feel as good as this. This is uh, Urban number one. This thing is just so good. Just nothing ever compared. So I always sold the other burgers I got until I got that slip joint. I love his work. I even had a lefty number one. And I sold that because it just, this thing just hits and it feels solid. It's centered. It I don't know. Just it works lefty too. Love this. 
But yeah, I don't know. Maybe this one would be the one I carry for the rest of my life. You like watching tree grow? Dude, seriously? Oh my God. Can't do live streams without, I gotta worry about people trying to trip me up and say dumb shit, seriously? This is what people's lives have come to? Like your life, not, not this live stream, you know what I'm saying? Blade started it for me, will end with me. The stout, hell yeah, dude. Awesome. Why are you my profile picture? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's your fault, not me. I can't see it well enough to see if that's just you looking like me, but it's a very difficult, almost impossible question to answer, I know. I mean, I guess it would probably be this knife. I just worry, but I guess the rest of my life, I can I can send this to uh, Greg whenever I need, right? So if I need it sharpened or, you know, something else done, I can just send it off. So, yeah, I'm going to choose my Strix. I think that makes the most sense. This is my favorite knife. So, man. So good. Uh, very tempting. Uh oh, we jumped. Very tempting. I need to get a rosy before spending seventeen fifty on a burger. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to get another uh, rosy. I, I don't know. I haven't had one for a while. I just wish you would do a sheep's foot. I have an XL, I think, on the way to check out from a friend, Matt. And they just look way too big. Any idea when the nip slips are dropping, purple nurple nip slip would be freaking awesome. Well, we did do purple haze. So we could call that a purple nurple nip slip. <laughs> yeah, we did purple haze. We did uh, orange dark matter with orange collars, and then we did um, Glow. Glow, Fat Carbon Glow. Pretty sure those are the ones we did, yeah. Um, I think in the around Blade Show, I think is the goal. QSP has been working on it since New Year's or a little before or after, I can't remember. So, do you speak Russian? No, I speak German. Um... Uh, Where's the slip? Slip for what? Are you going to keep asking me why I'm your profile picture? Uh-oh, Josh is deleting shit. Thank you, dude. Whatever you're doing. The vertical lives seem to draw the trolls. Yeah. So what I've learned is when you do the vertical live, you go into people's shorts feed. So it just goes to random people. It's the same thing with shorts. It's why people get more views on shorts, right? So you draw in more people, but are they nice people? Are they going to subscribe? Like, sure, you're going to pick up some subscribers, but are they going to watch your regular videos? So that's why I kind of stopped doing shorts. It's just kind of like, sure, it's good for growth, but like, uh, it's not fun. So I don't know. Uh, I was just testing this out. I don't know if I would, uh, I don't know if I'll do it again. I like the regular style where I get to use my laptop and shit. What do you think is the best EDC knife? 50 bucks. Although I am keeping up with this chat, which is kind of nice. Uh, what do you think is the best EDC knife, 50 or under? Uh, Megaron Moyarl. The Megaron Moyarl is the best. Um, because you get G10, you get 14C, 
And now I think they have some options. Yeah, they have a crossbar one. Um, but this is the one I'm thinking of. 14C. You get a really good detent. You get great action, good ergonomics. I mean, it's not contoured. And it's maybe a little thicker than I'd want, but 50 bucks. And it's dead sexy, too. I have a video on it. It's really good, man. That's the one I, I get. $49.99. I mean, it's crazy. What are your pronouns? Uh, lefty, douchey, flash nut. Those are my pronouns. Man, your comments. Hi, bro. I am from Universe. I can understand you can see this, and then you are so angry. What? Who's angry? Uh, later on, I prefer fixed blades. I do have a few bucks and spideys. Okay. Uh, the only fixed blades I've seen recently are the Concept... Uh, what the hell is this thing? Corvid S. And this thing is super comfortable, cheap. And uh, yeah, I don't like this design in general, but this specific fixed blade version is really, and it's slicey. Just ask Stasa. And then the axial one, the axial one where you can uh, replace the inlays. They now have fat carbon inlays. They're sending me some to uh, check out, which is cool. And this is in Magna Cut. It's at 62. Titanium scales, which is really cool. You don't see that on fixed blades. At least I never have. Kev, dumb question. Does Devo have a meaning or just made up? Uh, so, <laughs> this is so dumb. So, when I started the channel... I got a nickname because I'm always into, like, I care about detents. So people called me the Detent Diva. So we were trying to think of names. And a male diva is a Devo. So we went with Devo. Colin came up with that, I think. So, yeah, there's a meaning. Kind of relates to the whole Detent Diva thing. You swipe through vertical lives like an IG feed. Yeah, exactly. And it's annoying, especially when it's shit you don't care about, which I'm sure half these people are thinking. Uh, give me a wrench. I'll take care of it. Neve's been getting 40K plus views on these new lives. Yeah, but like, I just don't care about that. It's cool, but like, I just, I don't know. It's whatever. I like making videos and talking about knives. Like, I, I don't know. It's, I'm edging to you. <laughs> awesome, dude. What are you, fucking six years old? Actually, I hope not. I hope you're at least, like, fucking 12. You got a yacht? I wish I had a yacht, man. Um... Yep, that is the meaning. Kev is a decent diva. Colin came up with Devo, if I recall. Hell yeah, Roger, thank you. Kev, your thoughts on the Project Malibu? It's been a grail of mine, but now I'm wondering if there are better knives available around the 250. Any recommendation around the 250? Man, the Malibu is a really good one for 250. That's good. I mean, do you does it have to be U.S. made? Because that I mean that does make a big difference. Um, I was going to suggest this, but I think he makes the Model 1, the original Model 1, the Warnies. Aren't those like $199 in Ultim or something? I think they're pretty affordable. Uh, so check out what uh, American Blade Works has because, man, shit is so, so good. Uh, $250, man. It's such a tough price point because, like, most things that I... I like are going to be like 50 bucks more. They're going to be like 300. You know what I mean? And 
that 250 range is tough because I feel like you can get more for 300 and are you really getting less for less? Like you can go over to white mountain, pick up this Devo pony stout. This is 175 S 90 V titanium hollow ground, right? Good action. Great detent. 175 even with a coupon shit it's 157 you save 100 bucks dude uh the two year wrath is really good for that price I think they're right around 250 that would be a good option these are great the v2 you get a lot of knife for 250 on this one but yeah, if it has to be U.S. made, I'd go with uh, American Blade Works. Or shit, get the Malibu, man. It's a great knife. Just because it's been around a while, a lot of people have kind of grown out of it. Same thing like I was talking about earlier about EMP. Just because I've experienced all of the nimbles and I've kind of gone past that doesn't mean they're not fantastic. They are. So for people who haven't, hell yeah. <laughs> Mr. Potato wants your hug. If only the randoms were a bit smarter, it would be entertaining instead of just spam. Yeah, facts, dude. They put you to work. <sighs> Don't cut your own jugular with that. My own jugular. I don't think anything was near my neck, but okay. Uh, I'm not really a fixed blade guy, but that one is really cool with the titanium. Yeah, that's what's sick about it. It has titanium scales. I've just never seen that before, you know? Have one of those shirts? Hell yeah, dude. Go over to DevoKnives.com. Pick up some swag. We got hats still. You got a sub from me? Hell yeah, David. Thanks, man. What's up, Blue Baron? Just seen a man with pink pigtails and a skirt on. I'm glad I found this live. <laughs> I gotta, I'm like reading them all slow now because I'm just making sure they're not trying to tie me up with some fucking racist shit or something. Good other guy. <sighs> you know who came up with Detent Diva. Yep, yep. Casey did. What would you do for $500 donation? I don't know, dude. I would just say thanks, bro. I'm not doing anything for money. <laughs> This isn't OnlyFans. You know what? I'll tell you to fuck off for $500. Kunwoo knives are all around $250. Yeah. So I like Kunwoo a lot, right? But they've done a lot of access lock knives lately. And I just, I just can't get behind an access lock like... <sighs> Like, I like them. They're good. I can give them good reviews. But, like, I can't personally go, like, you got to get one of these. You know what I mean? Just because of the access lock. Soft-ass detent. Detent Diva. Um, and then the locking knives lately, the Padre, like, it just, the banana handle wasn't for me. The The towel was fucking amazing. I love the towel. Uh, what were the other two they did? They did a small and a large one. And they had like a front flipper and a hole. Those were really good too. I think they were frame locked. So left-handed, they weren't great. But those were really good. Um, so I can definitely recommend Kun Wu as a brand. But some of the crossbar lock knives, just not for me. But you guys might love them. Prefer US made. But remember, I live in the EU. Okay. Um, shit. Yeah, dude, check out American Blade Works. That's my best recommendation. Uh, when is Devo shipping international? We do. If you order from our website, we have options for international. Um, so we do ship international. We just don't have dealers over there yet. Uh, we haven't had enough like inventory to really... Uh, pick up dealers over there and i'm trying not to just like buy a thousand knives and then sell them to dealers and then just have them on the shelf like i don't know i, I don't know 
I'd rather invest that money in new models and do smaller runs. That's kind of what we've been doing. Don't get Kunwu crossbar locks unless you really like the design. See, that's what I'm saying. Uh, he wants to see the money dance. Uh, what happened to your finger, bro? Oh, this one? I cut it, actually, with the nip. I was coming up the stairs, and I was closing the knife, and my dumb brain was like, yeah. Push the lock bar and shake it back. So I pushed the lock bar and shook it back and just doink. It's just a little nick. But I don't even know why. And then I looked at my, I was like, what the fuck was that? Uh, the Bastide RS Chaos is 250. Okay. Yeah. But see, man, I could bitch about any knife. Uh, the blade to handle ratio on that knife is atrocious. And it's way too heavy. Cool knife, though, I guess. Uh, took thumb studs and magnets to make the Pulsar have a good action. Yeah. And it, even when you do the magnet thing on knives like that, you still have to overcome a spring. It's still going to feel off, I think. Uh, yeah, we ship international. I think he means uh, have dealers over there. Definitely picking up a few Devos when I come back stateside. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. What happened to your finger? Answered that one. You don't want to see my toes right now, dude. Tell you what. Give me 500 bucks. I'll show you my toes. My kid <laughs> my kid uh, was uh, getting her nails painted by my wife yesterday. And she goes, Daddy, are you ready for your nail appointment? I was up here recording. So it'll be in some video. Uh, and she's like, are you ready for your nail appointment? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I went down and I just let her, I was like, you can paint my nails all you want. And she's like, okay, it's time for your, your hands. I was like, no, you could paint my nails all you want, my toenails, but you're not touching my hands. Daddy needs these hands. I don't want to hear it from you guys for a month because I got uh, gangrene on my hands. I have a... Uh, my toes look like I have gangrene now because she just painted them black and shit. She got it like all over my toes and oh god. Uh, do you like Microtech? Not especially. No. Uh, I don't really like what like what they do. Um, the knives aren't that great. Uh, I like that they're not like way overpriced they seem to have good pricing uh even like with their ram lock knives those aren't crazy expensive aren't they like 280 bucks or something that's pretty good just nothing they do like fits my style you know i like slimmer smaller sheep's footy type knives with good action and that's just not their thing uh frankie diesel Shout out to Frankie Diesel. Yes, for a shout out. There you go, buddy. Uh, I'm liking this live, bro. <laughs> yeah, I like answering the questions. It's a little easier than uh, other lives where I'm like, I feel like I all I'm doing is trying to catch up. And it's hard to even do anything. Uh, can't I can't legally carry a locking knife without a good reason, so I carry slip joints. But that doesn't mean I can't own locking knives. I carry them around my property or camping. Yeah, uh, you live in Belgium or Germany or something. Um, their rules are weird. But slip joints are awesome. And then, yeah, you can carry them. I mean, honestly, dude, I could do that. I could literally do the same shit I do and do it. I work at home. Like, I drive to the post office. I drive to, you know, family events, shit like that, right? I could just bring a slip joint on those occasions. Personally, I'd probably just break the rules and carry a knife, but a locking knife. And then around the house, you could have it. I mean, it's great. Assuming, you know, you have a house you like to spend time in and shit. If you're always out and about, then yeah, it kind of kills it. Uh, you mentioned an upcoming ABW drop. What uh, would that be for their sheep's foot model or the spear? Drop point you held up earlier. It's for this button lock. So, yes, it's for this drop point. 
Um, I don't know. They might have some of the Warren Cliff versions. This is a new model. It's a button lock model one. And then they have the original model one warnies and regular ones. Um, but this is, I believe what's dropping on the 27th. It's so good. Uh, I want to get a bug out with the axis lock. Yeah, the, dude, the bug out's a good knife, man. Um, that's another one that, like, you know, people have kind of gotten past, so you, you hear a lot of shit about it. But uh, I had one for years and absolutely loved it. Bug out's great. And it, it's small and the studs are in a good spot, so it does feel like a bit of a detent. It feels good. Have you tried the Kunwoo Chad? Best detent and deployment I've ever felt on a crossbar. Yes, I have, and it was okay. Uh, it definitely wasn't the best um, for me, but I'm glad you dig it. Um, the best I've probably felt on an axis lock, maybe the drop bear or something. Maybe even one of those O knives, like the Rubato 3 or something. Um, it's it's gonna be one of those ones that has a you know studs tight to the frame where you can pop it and a decent spring. Uh, or when I'm not in public place and might be subjective to a random search. Who the hell is random searching you? That's the thing I don't understand with this. Like, so weird. I guess you have to worry about it, but are you have you ever been randomly searched? What are your pronouns? I answered that one already. Uh, lefty, douche, and uh, flash nut. Those are my pronouns. You could just call me douche. It's fine. Are there thieves there? Brazilians placed a thief in the presidency of the republic. Okay. Yeah, dude. We got plenty of thieves. <laughs> We got plenty of thieves in power, bro. Uh, you're not alone. <laughs> Shit, you guys cracked me up. Uh, they told, told me that they were supposed to ship before Easter. Somehow I doubt it. What was supposed to ship? Sorry. What's the, what's the knife you're talking about? Uh, the big idea design fixed blade looks cool. Uh, I don't... I try not to talk about big idea design. They... Uh, they kind of did me dirty. I don't like those guys. Uh, just got my hands on my first Devo. Love my growler shit. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Saw your video on Birdblade Slim. Now I got a Purple Haze Stone Lodge coming. My girlfriend is mad. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, man. I think I'm responsible for a lot of unhappy marriages. Uh, K-Bar... Mini Soak. They made a mini Socom Bravo. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, it's hilarious. Girl dads know exactly what. The, yeah, that's how I feel about Microtech. Yeah, I don't know. I I get it. Some people love them. Are you gonna try the new Mister Mister Design front flipper, the Phantom? I hate that it's not a belt satin. Great detent though for a decent price. QSP. Oh, QSP did that one. Um, yes, uh, jo uh, Javon just sent me the one that he was checking out. So Mr. Mr. is letting me check one out. Uh, so hope I like it. Uh, all right. I think I got to run guys. My wife's home. She wants me to help get the kiddo out of the car. She's taking a nap. So sorry. I uh, can't answer the rest of these, but, uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for coming out. I, I was just testing this. I might do it again. It'll be a sporadic thing. Um, it's kind of cool if you're just hanging and you just want to do it live and you don't want to deal with setting up StreamYard and all that shit, you know? Um, but I don't feel like it's... I don't know. I actually had fun, though. So thank you, guys. Thanks to all the randos for your awesome comments. And uh, thank you, guys. I love you. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll catch you later. Peace.